You're watching The Mic Check on every Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Mic Check. Tonight, we have Hallmark Fresh Ink. Not tattoos, but uh, fresh ink. And, uh, I wasn't going to go there, but... You know, this is going to be a fantastic mic check. And anybody under the age of 40 probably has no idea what I just did. So anyway, back to voiceover. This piece of copy is, of course, conversational, authoritative, and there is a hint of sarcasm built into this thing just because of the way that the guy is pulling this ad because of the way, you know, uses things like um, changing the fast channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee, you know, that sort of thing. But who wants to take this first? Oh, John's raising his hand. Can you yeah. paste it into the chat window, please? Think here. I oh, know I don't. There we go. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. All right. Take it away, John. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as the music stops and the commercials start, you change a channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. We know it. But it's the same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helps us develop the new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So... Pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. How about Richard? Well, welcome back already. <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's the same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as it as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for your friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Michael? By the way, welcome back, Richard. Nice to be here for one week. I'll be gone for two, and then I'll oh, be back. Oh, no. Again. Oh, man. <laughs> we, we, we open Thursday night, so we just have tonight off. So Okay. We've had all 11 rehearsals, so. <laughs> well, once again, break a leg. And in case anybody doesn't know, I'm going to take the time. Richard's in a play. Ask him about it. It's awesome. <laughs> all right. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that... But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few... So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for your friends and your near at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't if you haven't already changed the station. Oh, that was a disaster on my part. It's okay, cold read, Dan Rule. Sorry, shutting up. Uh, Patrick, why don't you go ahead and just shut me up here? Take it over. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. It, as soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. 
and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Ugh. Ron. I'm going to tongue tie myself on that also. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear this commercial. All right. We're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as the music stops and the commercial start, you change that channel faster than turning the doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's. But it's the same uncanny ability, the grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as it, life itself. So pick up a few fresh, few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. I'm going to send it over to. Devon? Devin. Devin, sorry. I did it last time, okay. too. But also, just as a rem as a quick reminder, I mentioned to Nathan, I'm going to have to cut out. Uh, I have a, a desk or a, a audition training coming up here in about 15 minutes. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Yeah, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercial starts, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's the same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helps us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Nathan. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's the same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your... Bleh. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Leonard... You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So... Pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Joe. Okay. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, Change that channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. E Russ? You probably don't want to hear this commercial. 
Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards, Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real, is, is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for your friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Uh, John. Uh, John went first. Left, then uh, not Richard, not Patrick, not Mike. So we have Rob. Rob. Rob, okay. Rob. By default. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the channel. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right. So I believe that's everybody, right? Yeah, that's everybody. Okay. Alrighty then. So. First thing that I noticed about this script is the uh, lack of double spacing makes it really killer to read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, man. Uh, um, so personally, that would be the first thing I'd change. I'd double space the whole thing. But anyway, uh, let's talk about it. What did you all notice about the script? What were some things that stuck out to you? Some things that you thought people did well or that they didn't do so well? Let's get a discussion going. One thing I noticed is that... Um, there's a tagline right in the middle of this script and yeah. um, it, it, it's a little bit of a challenge, I think, to kind of connect that to the sentence in front of it. Um, but it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality. that helps us develop our new line of greeting cards, fresh ink from Hallmark. You got to kind of tie that into the sentence before with almost not even like a full stop. I think um, Russ handled it real well. Um, a couple others, you know, made it sound like it was, it flowed a little better, but for the most part, it sounded like just a, a tagline stuck in the middle. And then like the commercial kind of started again from there. Um, okay. I, I think, I think you're, you're, uh, you're touching on something a little bit deeper when it comes to that. Uh, whenever you see something like that, um, you know, freshing from Hallmark, you immediately want to turn that into a tagline. But in this case, it's just a sentence. It is linking to the previous idea. And, uh, I, I think it's, it's not so much that, um, that it's a tagline put in the middle of the sentence. It's that it's a tagline that is a sentence. Like mm -hmm. we, we have to, we have to differentiate tagline from sentence. Um, so I, I think, um, the, uh, uh, what, what we need to do is make sure to keep it in mind that we are linking everything together. Uh, this, this is written a little bit differently than many of the other scripts that we've touched on recently in that um, this is very much so like a down to earth, fully flowing. Everything is self, you know, everything's contained. It's a one continuous story kind of script. So there, there's no, there should be no breaks. There should be no weird hitches or transitions or things like that because the emotional state is essentially the same through the whole thing. It's like, Hey, I'm going to be real with you. And that's kind of the whole idea with this thing. Yeah. So I think what we need to do is remove the idea that fresh ink from Hallmark is a tagline. I, I thank you very much for bringing that up because that was actually something I was going to talk about is fresh ink from Hallmark though. Traditionally in our line of work, um, it is a, it is a tagline and it would be treated differently, but in here it's not, it's more of, Hey, you know, we have this grasp on reality. We're not just some, Hey, you know, everything's, 
you know, I hope you do well and everything like that. It's not some sort of etheric flighty kind of cards that you'd get somebody that always has that, you know, generic, nice platitudes in it. This is real. This is down to earth. This is the kind of stuff we're, we're used to. You know, this, the, this is the experience that we have day in and day out. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, with that sort of feel in mind, we need to be able to incorporate that tagline as the sentence it really is supposed to be. So, yeah. Thank yeah, you for bringing that up. That's a really good point. As soon as he brought that up, what I did to separate that out was I bracketed off fresh ink and then I bracketed off Hallmark because it's the, the title of their product and then their name. Hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, yeah, it kind of helped you, it to uh, stop. And another pressed. thing that could help is turning that period just before fresh ink from Hallmark into a colon. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I was looking at something, it a, yeah. little, mm -hmm. a little differently in that the that's the sentence before, but it's that same uncanny ability mm -hmm. that that single sentence I see as the most sarcastic line in the whole thing. The sentences before that, that's just the way it is. We know it. That's reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us divide. Uh, yeah. I think I think, and then he just says it. This is what we developed, but I think he's that popped me out of that was the sarcastic piece, and then I pop out of the sarcastic piece for the product name. Okay. That's, that's the way I was looking at that because I think a lot of people were reading that line as a conversational one, and I think that's the that's one of those sarcastic ones. That's where that hint of sarcasm is right in there. Really, it's not the. Uh... Bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee <laughs> wine. Mm, also, also, you haven't already changed the station, clearly. <laughs> I, I think the uncanny ability is is not sarcastic. I think that's they're saying, hey, we, we got this ability that other people don't have. I think they're kind of more like dry. That's yeah, I was going to say, it, it sounds a little bit also like it could be dry humor. Yeah. Dry. Yeah, 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 I think, I think, yeah. That, I think any. And I'm not saying that this is, you know, there's there's one way to this or not. I, I, I don't think you're wrong there, Russ, but, you know, I, I think there are multiple different approaches you could have to this. So, yeah, if you want to take it seriously, that's totally fine. That works. But if you want to take it like um, uh, like Joe did a little bit sarcastically, I think that could work, too, depending on the angle you want to approach this at. Choice. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I, I think. Uh, I, I don't think you're wrong. Um, I, I want to put that out there. I don't think you're wrong. I think it's. Uh, it, I think that right there would be a matter of stylistic choice. So you could, at that point, try to be like, you know, and it's that. Where, where was it? But it's the same uncanny ability to grasp. Re and it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. You could be really straight with that, or yeah. Anyway, I think the words uh, uncanny and quirky deserve a little special treatment in this. Because they're very, very unusual to the rest of it. So I think they get a little stress and that's where the, that's where a bit of that dry humor, borderline sarcasm comes in. And um, the, the only other comment I was going to, well, I got two more. One is, um, I think just by the way it's written, that second line, third line with, uh, as soon as that music stops and the commercial start, you change the channel faster. You need to pick up the pace as we run through that. Just kind of mm -hmm. get that message across. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, the billboarding, um, the fresh ink from Hallmark, like Nathan said, and then Hallmark fresh ink, and then back off a little, this is real. So pick up a few, I found this line particularly difficult. So pick up a few Hallmark fresh ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer. And the way that's written, your friends are at your nearest retailer. <laughs> yeah, that was my so, comment. There was stumbles all over on that last little bit. <laughs> yeah. You, it, know, you pick up your cards from who knows where and you bring them to your friends who are working at the retailer. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> are you picking up your friends uh, or the so cards? A few Hallmark Christian cards for friends. Say something real. Yeah, that's all well, I got. Yeah. That's also a rule of a rule of threes in there. Fresh ink from Hallmark, Hallmark Fresh Ink, Hallmark Fresh Ink cards. There you go. Yeah, it's just it's really weirdly structured. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not a really list, weird, but structure. it's three sentences, one after the other, that all have the product in it somewhere. Yeah, and, and, and the awkward part is is that it's all listed differently. Generally, they want to keep the, the titling pretty close together, but this one is fresh ink from Hallmark, then Hallmark Fresh Ink, and then Hallmark Fresh Ink. And then Hallmark Fresh Ink cards. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The cards are part <laughs> right. of that. It's, yeah. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's not. It, yeah, it's not Hallmark Fresh Ink cards. It's Hallmark Fresh Ink cards. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Very important. Good point. <clears throat> While we're going over the text, I want to say um, and say something real. I think real needs something because that's. I think that's an important word there mm-hmm. um, because you're getting mm-hmm. the point across. Yeah. That, you know. You know why. Um, Absolutely. But we're Absolutely. Not, we're not doing the who, what, when, and where. Are we going to do that? Um, I think this one we can. Some of the other ones we we weren't really able to do it as well, but I think this one does have a, a little bit clearer of a picture of that. So yeah, who is this speaker? Who are we? I'm Bodet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Don right, Bodet. If you're gonna do that, I thought uh, Sam Elliott or maybe Wolford Brimley. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. I was, I have diabetes. I was picturing. Uh, I was picturing never here, get in the order. Yeah. I was picturing yeah. Ernest Ernest P. Worrell we, leaning in your window. <laughs> hey, Vern. Hey, Vern. Hey, Vern. Have you seen these? Have you seen these Hallmark Fresh End cards? <laughs> oh, well, so let's talk about. Um, so okay. Um, who is this person that's speaking then? I get the idea maybe it's an announcer and he's like on TV and I feel like he's almost coming out of the TV to talk specifically to the person that's watching. I don't know if that's a real character, but. Brand spokesman. Yeah. Okay. All right. So definitely a brand representative here. Um, then. So it says conversational authoritative with a hint of sarcasm. I personally take a little bit of issue with that because I don't yeah. think authoritative really works with this. Yeah, exactly. But um, if that was the if if these are the specs, let let's see if maybe we can come up from or uh, come up with uh, alternate ideas for authoritative. I, I think there's another take that we could have with authoritative. Still, something you know, something that sort of encompasses the spirit of authoritative. You know, somebody who's in charge, somebody who's up up ahead, and you know, credible. Yeah, well, incredible yeah. would be a good one. Maybe it's a um, drill. Maybe it's a drill sergeant. A drill. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living you know? in fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. No, no. Um, <laughs> that actually might work. <laughs> it might. I don't know if they're going for like a full-on comedy thing, but uh, I, I like. Um, that's a second take. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, I, I like the idea of maybe an alternate version for authoritative. I, I think um, knowledgeable, I, I think relatable, you know, like something. It, I, I'd love to hear this delivery come from a, a place of like personal understanding, you know, from from the reader. Somebody who like, I get it. Like Nobody, hate, nobody likes commercials. In fact, when I'm listening to them, I usually turn them off. Like this is the brand amb- this is the brand ambassador with like a like you know jeans and, and and a normal coat on but their dress shirt with the the name tag underneath it you know yeah that, that's kind of the way that I see it just this this really sort of one on one yeah I get it it kind of brand kind of brand ambassador yeah, we, sorry we, let, me, let me let me choose my words properly here we know you don't like commercials I mean <laughs> you know none of us do um you know getting a commercial through to use like nailing jello to a wall it's just not gonna work <laughs> and, you know, when you when you think about uh you know <laughs> when, you, when you think about the kind of products that Hallmark usually puts out there and it's always these uh you know these very serious, almost dramatic. Send send some love to the ones that you care the most. You know, uh, care for the most. Whatever um, yeah. kind of feel. And and the second line in the script is, "Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land." I think there's some sarcasm there. Some. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a whole heap and helping of it. I, I think. I think. Um, yeah, this may have came from the same people that uh, write those. Uh, Hallmark bathroom toys, you know, the, uh, you know, <laughs> little Johnny Elf and stuff like that. <laughs> I've auditioned for plenty of those. <laughs> yeah, what Patrick was saying on, on speeding up on this part, I think it starts, Patrick, where you were saying um, as soon as the music stops and, and the commercial start, you change the channel faster. I think it starts with the word heck. That's all part of that where it kind of clips along a little. Yeah, 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 we're aware of all this stuff. Anyway, what we want to tell you is, and then you get into the homework. That's where I see all that 
stuff that's yeah, in there. I, I think there could be a little bit of danger in that, in, in picking it up too much there, because mm-hmm. well, obviously not, not that... that a fast, fast clip. But... No, yeah, I, I, I'm just, I want to put this out there just in case, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm not disagreeing I haven't been with here, you. my bad. I'm sorry. not disagreeing with you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 oh. You see, the thing is, 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 you know, one of the greatest hooks to get people to really listen to you is if you can get them to laugh. And obviously, that's what we're going for right at the very beginning here with the third line in. You know, you change the channel faster than turning the door, the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. You know, how are you supposed to approach that? Like, what, what's, what's the feeling that you're supposed to have with that? Quickness. With that, with that line. Urgency. Yeah, yeah urgency. That's good. Feeling you're supposed to have with it. <laughs> like you got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, now I kind of modernized this script because it used to say change the dial or turn the dial. Okay. That makes more sense. Nobody but Granny uses a dial anymore. So it had to be <laughs> adjusted. So, <laughs> so I didn't modernize this script, just a shade. Yeah. Uh, but um, um, you can tell this is a radio spot right away, right off the bat. You don't want to hear this commercial. So you got this little like, like, the song ends and you've got the announcer coming on going, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So you can really literally pre-life it with wait, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> I don't think, no, no, no I, I think that'd be a bad idea because if you pre-life it with wait, you automatically put yourself in this position of, holy crap, I got to get the message out right now. You come off stressed and not like, okay. you know, you probably don't want to hear this commercial. You know, this is this Good is point. more the 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 connection that we're trying to go for with this. So I think I think starting it off with wait is is putting you in a really really bad mental spot for that because suddenly you have this rush mentality of I got to get the message out now because you're going to change the channel on me any moment. You know, yeah. we we want to avoid that. This is this is definitely like hey, this is a different kind of commercial. You haven't heard anything like this before. All right. Because we don't, you don't want to listen to commercials. Mike, I think the comedy starts on that very first line. Absolutely. That does go right into conversational, authoritative, and the sarcasm. You probably don't want to hear this commercial and and grasp them with that authoritative voice. Yep. You're going for the reverse psychology right there. Yeah. Yeah. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Every time a radio co- a radio commercial comes on, okay, my wife loves to listen to the radio in the car. Commercial comes on, that dial, that button gets pushed. She's going to another station. <laughs> well, then here's here's a good exercise. Here's a good exercise for this. Take that first sentence. So this first sentence, we want people, we want to have people, we want to. When people have a certain visceral reaction to that, right? Well, what is the reaction we're going for? Because if we have that clearly in mind, we can affect how we deliver that. So what is the reaction that we're trying to go for from that very first line? Why? To get them to stay. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to hear this. Then say, well, why? Yeah. What are you talking about? Hey. Empathy. Yeah, that's on a lean on, uh, hey, yeah, look, I know you're about to hit the button. But here's the surprise <laughs> list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I heard a lot. I heard empathy. I heard why. Um, anybody else have any, any like really good short, you know, ideas of the kind of response that you want to get from the person so that we can, we can do something with that first line. Hey, curiosity. Like, yeah. what do you mean? What, like, what do you, okay. Uh, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Okay. So then if you want somebody to think that, think about how you're going to deliver that line, you know, um, if you want somebody to think, well, okay, now I do want to hear. Well, you probably don't want to hear with this commercial. You know, it's like, I get it. Maybe you want to go with a, a th- yeah, that I get it kind of attitude. Or you probably don't want to hear this commercial. Like, you know, you're probably going to change the channel anyway. So I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. It could be a little bit more apathetic. Um, but once you have an idea of how you want the person to react to how you say, then you can start playing with how you say it. So right here at that very first line, we want to get, we want to grab people's attention by telling them not to listen to us. <laughs> so, um, somewhere on your paper, somewhere on uh, uh, on the sheet, if you can, make sure to put a reaction that you want from somebody there. 
Like make sure to have that in mind, because if you do, then you can focus your delivery to elicit that response. Let's see. So our character is a business representative who's approaching from multiple different angles, either pure sarcasm or really trying to relate one or the other. That, that's sort of the, the basic idea of who you are in the script. So who is this talking to? The guy People who's about to probably, change the channel. <laughs> People <laughs> probably don't buy many greeting cards. Okay. Talking to Nathan's wife. Yeah. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> Who likes to change the state? Well, you know, she loves her music and she'd really rather not hear everybody just chattering instead. You know, mm -hmm. that's her thing. She likes, you know, that me, I like to listen to talk radio and podcast. But her thing is, you know, music. So it's like, I want to keep hearing my music. I don't want an interruption, you know, and so it's it's that it's that we got to catch your attention before you move away from this so you can get what we're selling here. You know, okay. I think Michael make a really good point <clears throat> as far as a lot of your older Hallmark greeting cards were just really predictable. Like you said about, you know, same platitudes over and over again. That so, is true. Yeah. And this one's this one's something different. That's why they call it fresh ink. Yeah. You know. Um yeah. I, I imagine whenever when I read this this script and I'm when I'm listening to to it being delivered, I, I imagine the person who's almost mindlessly sort of, you know, reaching over to tap the dial and and, and change the channel. Uh, I don't think anybody who's really like actively listening. I think this is somebody who's probably like stuck in traffic and whatnot. And you almost surprise them with the, Hey, I know you don't want to listen to this commercial. And they're like, wait, what? You, <laughs> you know what's going on in my head? Who uh, are uh, you? Um, uh, I, I, I yes. imagine that kind of person. I imagine somebody who's like, um, well, cause I mean, let's, let's just face it. When commercials come on, everybody tunes out. Right. I mean, raise your hand if you listen very closely to all the commercials. Sometimes I do because you know, voice. I, I do because this is a voice actor I studying do. the commercials. Yeah, yeah, what you said. What commercials you said. are learning for us. Hey, if, <laughs> if it's on TV and I can back it up to watch it again because it's like, whoa, 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 I got to see that one again. Even the wife yeah. will stop stuff and back it up and we'll watch. Yeah. We, we will watch a commercial again. We have the ambient. Have the music going in the car. And if we're not tuning away from from the station to go to some other music, um, uh, if she sees me reach and grab the knob and turn it up, she knows I'm wanting to, you know, okay, what are these voice actors doing on here? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love, I actually really like Rob Com Rob's comment here in the chat. He says, welcome to short attention span theater. And yep, that's exactly what it is. This is a short attention span theater. We're, we're trying to, you know, get somebody's, uh, attention. We're trying to uh, to really have them tune in by sort of reversing the script on them. You know, we get it. You yeah. don't want to listen to us. I understand. It's like, wait. I the get it. I know you don't want to hear this. Oh, God. The first <laughs> lines are simply a gimmick to get anybody to listen. That's not necessarily our target audience. Our target audience is someone who doesn't go for the traditional cards, like John said, the traditional platitudes. It's a person who walks into the grocery store and goes, where are the funny ones? Yeah. <laughs> Show me the shoebox ones. Yeah. So that's why yes. the sarcasm in the comedy, that lends to the flavor of the product. Yeah. So that's the kind of person it's after. It's not after... Uh, it's not after the serious condolence <laughs> card. It's after... So the Hey. So they're, they're the kinds of friends who will buy an adios card when after they have a divorce or something like that, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so the, the, the tone of it, it tells us who the customer is. The fact that it's 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 trying to hook you to change a channel has nothing to do with the a very. So then, so then we got to definitely scrub out all clinical from this, all all sales, all anything like that, because those kinds yeah. of people are going to tune us out in a in a hot second. Yeah. At the moment we sound sort of salesy. So that needs to be scrubbed. Um, let's see. I, I think I think we got a really good discussion about how we should approach it. Are there any particular lines that any of you would like to focus a little bit more on? Something that maybe you can get a little bit more discussion going on a particular part of the script or anything like that? Anything maybe not clear on how you would like to uh, to perform it? Open 
the penultimate line. So pick up so a few, pick Hallmark, up a few cards. Hallmark fresh cards for your friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. Yeah, how do you work the friends in there? For friends. It would be nice to add for your friends. <laughs> no, no, no. They're just the friends at your nearest retailer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's that, that demands kind of a, a not really a long pause, but a slight pause between mm. friends and at your nearest retailer something in there that just kind of you know yeah and hallmark fresh ink context. cards is an entity and at your nearest retailer is another one but where do how do you attach the friends in there and you can't really attach it to the hallmark fresh ink cards for friends because that's not the brand do you just give it a little plus and up it's not the friends well, at your nearest I, retailer. I would, actually, I would, you know, I would actually bracket together Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends. I would just put brackets around that to make sure that I kept that idea all together. So I'd do something like, so pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends. It's your nearest retailer and say something real. I don't know, something a little bit like that. I, I think obviously. everything between a commas just has to run together. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. Right. Yeah, I think that's the only way. It's, it's the only way it's gonna flow, right? <laughs> you look at the, the only way it's go. gonna flow. Fortunately, this could have been written vastly different to flow better. But I'm not. I don't <laughs> think they had a good grasp of the work with what they gave you. No, no, no. It's honestly like when it comes to script writing, I understand that a lot of people who do this are usually under some pretty serious time crunches. So yeah. there's always something that that needs to be rewritten or redone, but mostly it's because they just don't have the, the time necessarily to get into it all the time. And it's up to us to try to unravel that and uh, make it make a little bit of sense. But I, I, I absolutely agree with you, John, in that everything between the commas just sort of needs to run together. Like, I mean, we've already talked about freshing from Hallmark and Hallmark Fresh Inc. And I, I don't think that we need to put too much emphasis on the brand at that point because we've already put most of the emphasis in the prior uh, introductions. So, you know, pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards. It's just sort of include that in with everything. And um, I guess flow that, just, just try to keep it all together. So then, you know, next idea, gamma, next idea. And I think that's that's probably going to be the best way to approach that. The last line is also a little tricky, and you don't want to leave them with this super overdose of sarcasm on the last line. Well, that's what it is. I'm sorry, that's dripping. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, it's easy to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it's meant to do. do. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. No, um. <laughs> that's a wink wink nod nod yeah it's a, it's more of a i think it's more of a shrug line you know you get your hands mm -hmm. up and you're just like yeah that is if you haven't already changed the station yeah, yeah. i think you need to be careful of overkill there nathan yeah. laid it on pretty heavy <laughs> yeah you don't want to you definitely don't want to uh, beat that last line leave it alone that's, it's your friend that's a really good point yep <laughs> shrug and a smile so, so the first line michael um you know you brought up how you're hooking them I, I, I see three ways to uh, three emphasis words for three different ways to do the first line. And that'd be, you probably don't want to hear this commercial. You probably mm. don't want to hear this commercial and you probably don't want to hear this commercial. Mm. So what's the goal for, I, I wouldn't, I, I would put the emphasis on don't because yeah. if you put the emphasis on you, instant sales ton or turn off. Right. Yep. You probably don't want to hear this commercial, or you probably don't want to hear this commercial. You hey. probably don't want to hear this commercial. Every like the, when I think about it, if you put an emphasis on you, it instantly turns salesy, it instantly turns announcery, yeah. and you know people's brains instantly shut off. Or, um, or no, or no emphasis, make it a throwaway line. You probably don't well, want to hear this commercial. Well, the, the approach really, I had yeah. there, uh, which I'm and I don't want to. Read. Uh, <laughs> I had you probably don't want to hear this commercial. Probably could work. Um, I think don't though is um, don't's a little bit more of a of a catchy word there, in my opinion. Only because you 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 don't necessarily come across too many commercials that tell you what you don't want to do. You know, they usually tell you you want to buy this because it's going to solve all the problems in your life. Not you probably don't want to listen to this commercial. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, but that's that's just my opinion. I think that there's probably multiple ways you could take that, and I'm sure that one of you is going to come up with something that's absolutely brilliant and genius, and everybody else is going to copy that because it's absolutely going to work. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I would I would definitely say that uh, um, putting the emphasis on you or any of those pronouns is probably not the best way to go. Again, instant sales, and this is also a little bit salesy when you when you um, uh, when you emphasize it because you know it, uh, for, for me it reminds me of of, uh, of car commercials you know this weekend only come and buy our new car for whatever you know yeah um it, it, to me that comes off a little bit salesy maybe again maybe you can do it where it doesn't and uh, maybe I'm just being really judgmental on it but I, I would say try to try to pull the emphasis off of you or this and put it more on probably or don't I would say more of don't that's just an opinion. So, with all of my rambling over, mm -hmm. let's get back into it, shall we? John. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom knob. You change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helps us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few fresh ink cards for your friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is if you haven't already changed the station. All right, let's open it up. What did everybody think? Uh, it was a little fast. I'm going with fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just a. You know. Anybody time that? I think it was supposed to be thirty seconds, right? <laughs> I stop. I was just uh, we probably came in at, at under twenty. Okay. <laughs> I didn't hear the authoritative part at all. Yeah, I heard it sounded like it sounded to we me like you didn't believe in ago. the product. Yeah, you were into it a little <clears> bit, <throat> but but not completely. Yeah, it was more a, a shrug and a. I gotta tell you this here. It sounded yeah. like you were bored with the script a little bit. Well, we've been talking about it for 40 minutes. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> 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 Hunt, are we done talking about it? I like <clears throat> um, It's just the way it is, and we know it. I like yeah. the way you wrote that. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. Although something occurred to me in this read. I think after that, when you hit that, but it's that same uncanny ability. I think at that point, you can assume that you have your audience's attention. If they're listening for that long, you probably do. Huh. So I think you could probably slow that down a little bit and get into a little bit more of the meat and potatoes of what it is you're trying to say here. <laughs> you know, that's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. You know, that's when you're really describing what you're actually what your real goal is here. So I think at that point, go for it. Assume you have their attention and uh, and tell them what it's all about. All right. Anybody else? Go. Cool. Speak now for a little piece. Go ahead, John. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than the turning the bathroom door after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helps us develop our new line of greeting cards, Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your near the So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Okay. What did everybody think of that? That sound like I cared about the cards more. <laughs> it did. My opinion, yeah. still a little on the quick side. What did everybody else think? I went up on fantasy land. So it's kind of up speak there. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was as flat as the last time, John. Yeah, I, I I think you're getting there, bud. Yeah. It was like the same read, but a little better. 
<laughs> well, that's how you're supposed to do it, right? Right. Step by step. The same, only better. <laughs> it was a what little more Tom Bodette. Like, okay, you know Tom Bodette cares about leaving the light on for you. It's, uh, you went a little informal on Say Something Real, <clears throat> which took away the authority. Okay, that was a choice, but it didn't work, huh? I I, I caught it stuck out to me, so okay. it sticks out, I guess. No, all right. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of make that a little too sarcastic or something, a little comedy, no, there, right? No, too too casual. Mm-hmm. It, it it was very conversational, but it wasn't conversational and authoritative. All right. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change a channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helps us develop our new line of greeting cards, Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right, opening it up. What did everybody think? The Fresh Ink from Walmart was really flat. Home from Hallmark, I mean. You mean when it billboarded the the product the first time? Yeah, it sounded really flat to me. The rest was, the West was getting better, but that, I was just like waiting for it, and it's like fresh ink from Hallmark. Pace was better, but the sentences ran together. Hmm. Three cups of coffee, that's just the way it is, and we know it. Three cups of uh-huh. coffee, that's just the way it is, and we know it. And then uh, greeting cards, fresh ink from Hallmark. Instead of you read uh, of greeting cards, fresh ink from Hallmark. Yeah, I was trying to tie those two together, so it was... I'm just, yeah. I'm so imagine that you're turning sideways and just sort of, you know, guiding people's attention over to it. Hey, there's a Hallmark <laughs> store over there. We have, we happen to have a display for fresh ink right in front. You know, our new line of greeting cards, fresh ink from Hallmark. I think when it says that's just the way it is, you definitely need a shrug there. Mm-hmm. Not, not okay. Really, mm-hmm. Not really feeling that. I'd like to. And when you say, say something real, mm-hmm. really whack them over the head with it. Like, hey, you got to grasp. This is the greatest things in sliced bread. So say something real. Okay. Any thoughts on how that should come across? Yeah, totally different from the... Whatever I did, just do it or differently. Pick up a few. <laughs> to your no, so so make it more important to yourself. Yeah. You know, add some more personal importance to that line. You know, like like that's what we've been leading up to. Like normally our cards are are are, are nice and whatnot, and they you know they tell people to get better and they tell people have a great day and things like that because a card is totally going to do that for somebody. But you know. At that point, I think I think you just need to get like really down to earth and really like you know, and say something real. You know, like finally you're actually saying something real for once. And you so, kind of do the same thing, only a little bit less on the same uncanny ability to let's get this real now. This is something important. I think I think what's being said here is that you need to go over the top for yourself through the whole thing. Just exaggerate what you're already doing. All right. And it might be too much, but it's going to be, it's going to help you though, I think. All right. That actually helps. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it but it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards, Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real funny... Fresh Ink... Oh, man, why do I keep doing that? Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real, funny, and quirky as life itself. 
So pick up a few Hallmark Freshening cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Sounded much better, I think. Yeah, yeah much yeah. better on the real. Yeah, it was good. Well, that, that was your best read yet. I thought that was your, that was right there at it. Somehow I thought this was going to go better. <laughs> it a little easier. When I read this you, script at about 6.30. You really took <laughs> off the gas, though, when you said, that's just the way it is, and we know it. Yeah, I was going to say that. It was really flat, but the rest of it was pretty good. And then after you messed up, you got a little flatter, too, and then you picked up again. So The, the last line sounded like you gave up. Oh, yeah. The only yeah, time I liked you your over the top bit. better. You're over the top that actually just right for you, it seems like <laughs> for this. That's week. probably good advice on just about any given day is whatever I'm doing, <laughs> turn it up a little bit. Because I'm just too mellow usually. No, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, 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 turn it up a lot. <laughs> All right. Talking about over with it. that knob, turn it up. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I yeah. can work on that. The only yeah. thing you did on all your reads, you actually ended on the same note on commercial and land in the first two lines. Yep, that's true. And is that a bad thing? Yes. It sounded okay. rep repetitive, kind of. You probably don't want to hear the commercial. Yeah. Like we're not living in the fantasy land. Same note. Doom, doom. Uh -huh. I but see what you mean. You didn't do that on the previous ones. No? No, you okay. didn't. Okay. When, when okay. Russ said you did an up speak on Fantasyland in the first song, I'm like, yeah, he did that, so he didn't sound the same as commercial, and it's good. Okay. Um, enough time to do one more time. Um, why don't you or go ahead and just give us the first uh, okay. first three lines? All right. Knock us out. All right. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear this commercial, heck. We're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as the music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. All right. I'd say that was a definite improvement over the previous wow, one. That was yeah. huge yeah, from the fantastic. start to where you got right there. That was a huge change. Very nice. Yeah. All right. I just got to turn it up from now on. I got you. <laughs> All right. So. I just got to turn it up from now on. Up hey. next is our very own Richard. Hey, Richard. <laughs> so you probably no. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's the same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right. What did everybody think? I think like the, sorry, like just just the way it is had I'd like to see the attitude you had for that. It was kind of a shrug throwaway. I'd like to see that expanded to the whole thing. The 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 tagline at the end was I like the tagline at the end too. But that that's just the way it is. You know, you're kinda of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we know. This is what it is. Yeah. I think those little short breaths you take uh, <laughs> at the end of lines are going to be really difficult to edit out or whatever it seems like. Um, so you're going oh, to trust me, I've gotten it. real good at it. Uh, well, they, do. <laughs> <laughs> they sound they sound awkward. It might be better for you just to take a breath and then go to the next line, rather than just like <gasps> you sound like you're kind of stressed. I had one today just that was five breathing, lines Richard. long. Yeah, What's that? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what we all should aspire to. Do, do a 30 second spot with six very long lines for a new FCC <laughs> spot we're doing for our changeover in October. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, one thing that I noticed is. So don't breathe. Got it. 
uh, <laughs> or one breath for the whole commercial. Yeah. I, I think I think your stage no. acting is starting to bleed into your voiceover a little bit because <laughs> well, that first line was really drug out and it was. I don't it should know. be more matter of factly. Yeah, it should just be. You know, you probably don't want to hear this commercial. You know, you're you're trying to to get people to think. Wait a minute, what? I'm listening to a commercial that says I don't. Uh, that's telling me not to listen to it. What's going on? Yeah, yeah kind of what was, Joe was saying on the. Uh, that's just the way it is. Do that. I think will work yeah, a lot better. Exactly. On the first line. Exactly. Exactly. Extend that sort of shoulder shrug. You know, we get it. Whatever. That's life. A mentality to the whole thing. Okay. So whenever you're ready, yes, let's you hear do. it again. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right. What did everybody I got think a nod that? from Joe, so I must have hit what he was talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can thumbs up there, too. <laughs> Yeah, you sound a lot more calmed down that time. It sounded good. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the only thing I got is you start is you hit the U very hard to start it. Okay. Should I do that one line again? Yeah. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Better. Splice Better. it in, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to hear the final line again. The what one? The the final line. Oh. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Or that oh, is, if you haven't already changed the station. Go less announcer. Sounds like you've given up. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is, if you haven't already changed the station. Like that one best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That was the most down to earth, most yeah. real. Aren't you kind of giving up though? A little bit of humor. <laughs> no, not really. It needs to have a it little humor in it. It, it. it almost hints of guilt trip, you know. <laughs> Remember, we said you probably were going to change it, but we're going to tell you all this good stuff uh, if you're still you're here. Still here though, aren't you? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, I almost see that as sort of like the character giving themselves permission to have a little bit of fun because, hey, if they're not listening, it doesn't matter what I say. You know, that is, <laughs> you haven't already changed the station. Oh. Yeah, say that last line with a little twinkle in your eye. That's how I see it. <laughs> All right. So what does everybody think? Should Richard go for one more or is he good? I think he's good. He's good. Yeah, he's I'm good. happy with it. All right, Thanks, Richard, guys. congratulations. No more berating. <laughs> For now. <laughs> but I missed Devin's comment. What did you say, Devin? You, you were saying something about my Earlier, breath I, when I was oh, breathing too much. <laughs> just stop breathing or just start one breath and do a whole commercial on one breath. One breath. But I'm not far from stop breathing. We're getting there as quick as we can go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> if Richard drops dead, Devin's on trial for manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, 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 turn off that live feed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh, on Facebook right now. <laughs> that's right, and I got lots of witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Replayable after this happens. <laughs> All right, uh, so. Thanks, Russ. I appreciate you sticking up for me. <laughs> uh, shoot. Okay, so my turn now. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Nick, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. 
Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for your friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. What does everybody think? I now I accept my fate. <laughs> I'm opening it up. I like, it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the uh, I like the turn. You had a nice subtle turn. The the top part was kind of you know sarcastic, and then when you got to actually talking about developing the product, you had a nice curve of a yeah. turn. And you, you talked about the product, and that's like you went back to sarcasm. Yeah, if you haven't already left us. <laughs> Is it just me or anybody else think it was a little fast? Maybe a little bit. Um, the way John did his turn at that just the way it is and we know it didn't fit for you. Okay. John, but it didn't, hmm. it just, it stuck out to me. Um, really, really liked the second half of the, uh, of the read after that though. Like the first half too, but second half really stuck out as very nice. I was so, expecting a little faster with the coffee line. Okay. Did anybody else agree that I, I, I took that too slow? Or did you feel that I had a good pacing on that? What, what did everybody else think on that? Well, I think that's what made it. There was something I'm going, it seemed flat, but it wasn't flat. And that might have been it was just a, a in those spots was just a, a tad slow. I guess is what okay. made it come across as flat because it, it wasn't flat, but there was something in there that just, it kind of went. <laughs> yeah. I, I keep hearing in, uh, I keep seeing in the chat, uh, more personality, a little bit more of a character. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. More personality. Yeah. More yeah. of a character. It okay. sounded too corporate. Okay. I was it did catching sound a, little, salesy. a, little, bit, a yeah. little bit of that corporate edge that you have. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going in this week for more, more corporate narration. So <laughs> I'm always going to stuck in that. Oh, all right. Uh, Let me try this again. This Let me give it a little bit more. Like it have variable speeds though. It doesn't seem like it's all just one slower, slow pace. There's a sense of urgency on some of the lines. So I think you could mix up maybe the pacing. Yeah, I, I, I meant to do that, but I guess I didn't. I, I'm I mentally had that in mind, but I didn't physically do it. So let me let me let me see if oh, I can. All perfect in our heads. <laughs> all right, let me try to give it a little bit more life, a little bit more variance. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for your friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Where's the fire? <laughs> a little too fast that time? Okay. First half, way yeah. too fast. Then you see you slow down after the turn. <laughs> but my my friends are still at my nearest retailer. Yes, yes, Michael they are. Hearing, Bring this in under ten. <laughs> okay. I actually, like All the right. first too fast. Better. Too yeah, fast. You you, you kind of hit gallop mode there, <laughs> as opposed to just a nice trot. <laughs> for some reason, I, I can't seem to split the difference. It's always one extreme or the other. For me. Let me see if I can get it right down the middle. Let me go ahead and vary it up a little bit more here. It wasn't there. flat this time. Does that help? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. So I, I, pacing was definitely an issue this time around. Anything else? Were there any other any other particulars? Anything else that stuck out to you guys? Uh, the I last think, line to me yeah. came across this freed as a little more snide. Yep. The other one that and, said it should be a shoulder shrug, Michael. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So twinkle yeah, I in went an a little eye snide with it instead of the snide. Okay. Anything else? All right. <laughs> Here we go. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Fresh Ink cards for your friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. 
That is, if you haven't already changed the station. I like it. I like that one too. I'm going. Yeah. I, I I have nothing to pick on. It's just a bravo. That was good. <laughs> the only thing I didn't like is where you ran together. That's just the way it is, and we know it. You just ignored that period there, and I think it's there for a reason. I think it's a choice you can you can do it that way. Yeah. I I all in all, I was listening. It, it sounded really good, and then you were done. I went, oh, I got nothing to pick with. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. That's just the way it is, and we know it. Yeah. So I have a little more, bit more of a pause yeah, more, there. It's got yeah, more just... personality, I think, with the pause. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey. So do you want me to pick that up pick up that line? I thought you just did. Yeah, it sounded like <laughs> you just did. I'm going I to was pick up what you already did. Well, <laughs> well your practice was fine. We're yeah. splicing it in. Baby. Okay, we'll splice in the practice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wish I could hear okay. it again. I wish I could well, hear it again. You can later. A... You'll hear it again, believe me. No, I mean... <laughs> you can hear it again by checking this out on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. <laughs> hey, Mike. Whenever a new video comes up. <laughs> no, hey, you're sounding like salesy there. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I don't know. Do you, want me to take, do you want me to do it again? Do another well, read? I, I, yeah, but I want, I want you to... Don't be Michael. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're saying you want somebody else for this gig? Okay, no. then. So, if you want no me way. to do another read, but you don't want me to sound like me, why don't we go ahead and pass it on over to Patrick? Oh my God! Don't feel oh. bad. That's exactly what they told me. <laughs> John. You're supposed to bring your personality to the read, right? I'm sorry. Something I was thinking while I was watching somebody do uh, something on television today was, you know, you really need to get outside of yourself. <laughs> oh. Is it okay if I'm beside myself? <laughs> just a little beside myself, that's all. So, but but just just so that I'm clear, Jenny, you, you just mean you know have a slightly different personality to it? Do like what? What are the specifics? That um, you hear that sort of make it a me read that you want uh, me to get away from. Uh, uh, um, the uh, the seriousness. It, it's you know you're like me. You have you have that serious read, and um, I couldn't do this if I tried. But but it, like the word like as soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob. Well, that's not that's an odd thing to say. So it's got to sound. <laughs> flamboyant or different or funny or weird or quirky or something you know and you know what i mean I, but don't ask me i don't you are brilliant i'm yeah, just that, that line in particular just screams tom bodette at me <laughs> let's so see boring. so there's so, so there are these there are these commercials that i'm seeing pop up on youtube for a uh, uh this soap brand and the person who delivers that line, I, I think, has the same kind of or the the person who spoke for. I, I don't even remember exactly what the brand is because, hey, guess what? I skip commercials. Um, <laughs> but the the person who does that delivery, I, I think, might have what it is you're looking for. I, I could I could try to to channel that a little bit more if you'd like to hear it. Yeah, I would personally. Okay, everybody else cool with that? Just like one a character thing. actor. Probably more like a character actor. Is that what you're saying, Janet? Uh, oh, wait, what, Devin? What about it? What? More like a care if you were a care, pretend he's a character yeah. actor. Yeah, like if you, yeah, they, I just try uh, playing, um, play somebody. You know, like as soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom door. I don't know, just. <laughs> okay, well, let, let, me, let me see it if I can give that a little bit. In there. I, yeah, let me let me see if I can give that a little bit of personality there. I, okay, Mike. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for your friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Yeah, that's much better. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, that's better. I like that one better. More of that alternate personality. Spanish accent. 
<laughs> when you do it, it's Georgie Jessel this time. <laughs> there we yeah, go. Uh, you're Nathan with the tattoo. <laughs> Better. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we go ahead and, and, and move move along, shall we? Let's get to, <laughs> We're only three people in. We got to keep moving. Patrick, yes. you're up. Go yes. for it. <laughs> You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. Well, that's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Okay, what did everybody think? I'm saying good. Good job. <laughs> Pretty darn good. You had a little bit of a, of a hitch or something at the beginning of That's Just the Way It Is. I wasn't the biggest fan of that. I'd like to hear you do it without that hitch, just sort of state the fact. But uh, otherwise, I think in general, it was, a, it was a pretty good. That's just that's, the way it is. That's just the way it is. And we know it. Mm -hmm. that, what did I do? Did I do? It's just the way it is. I mean, you had like, this sort of weird like hitch at the beginning of it. Like, well, yeah, that's just the way it is. Or that's just the way it is. It was just this, this small hitch that this is really nitpicky, by the way. Just, right. just letting you know. Really nitpicky, by the way. But... Um, I think it, just changing that would have added a little bit more of just that general authority to the script. Okay. And then turning the bathroom door now after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. That, yeah, yeah, just because that's, I mean, you can't get more uh, talent like it is than that's just the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, so what did everybody else think? Let's get some other opinions in here. There could I'm have good. been a little more smile. That, and that's really picky, too, because he had some. Where's the mirth? <laughs> I want some laughter. Where's the laughter at? You didn't give us any. Anybody else agree? Could be more smile, a little bit happier, a little bit more upbeat. Do you want one with a smile? Well, just uh, just in the good parts, in the Hallmark. When you're talking just, about just Hallmark. in the good parts. Just <laughs> in the good parts. <laughs> Take the good parts and change them. <laughs> so I'm marking every script. These are the good parts. These are not. Yeah. <laughs> the crap parts, we really don't care if you smiled or not. But well, I, don't the want, good parts. I, I don't want you to smile in the sarcastic parts. Yeah, I Unless, got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. What did everybody think? I don't know about finishing up with a question. It was a B yeah, read. Yeah, it, it kind of like... <laughs> it was, it's an interesting <laughs> question. Uh, yeah, I thought it was great. And then the last line, it was like... Are you still there? Yeah. What, what, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> I don't know. There was something. I'm. I'm with Russ. It was. It was a yeah. question. Or... Yeah. And if you'd ad libbed in, "Are you still there?" That kind of would have made more sense out of that. Okay. Yeah. Because it did took it way out of context. Yeah. yeah. Did, well, did. I'd say just splice in the last line from the first take and call it done. Right. Done. We got you covered, baby. It's no problem. Fix it in post. I agree. Yeah. Did the uh, the smiling on the second half help? Okay, thanks for yeah, that. Yeah, you sounded you sounded more hallmark. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess that's what we go for. <laughs> and thanks for only doing it on the good parts. We yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> well, when we're reading for Hallmark, 
And we sound hallmark. That's good. Yes, it is. All righty then. Up uh, next. Oh, wait. Ron had to dip out. So, yeah, no, Devin, Devin, you're up. All right. All right. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as you hear that music stops and the as soon as that music stops and the commercial start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But is the same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards? Fresh ink from Hallmark? Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. I heard All a right, strange opening bit of, it up. I heard a strange bit of up talk when she said Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Yeah, I did. It, yeah, it, it became uh, a question. Yeah. And the, the last line, the timing or pacing seemed unnatural. It was. That is? <laughs> yeah, it was. That, that is. <laughs> yeah, it was something not quite. Yeah. It seemed like it flowed really well until it got to the billboard. And yeah. there was just sort of a disconnect or something there. The pacing was wrong. Um, up to then, it was very good. I just... I think okay. it, it almost needs us to connect those two yeah. thoughts somehow while still giving it the pause it deserves. Good good suggestion is to actually use your hands when you billboard it. You know, fresh ink hmm. from Hallmark. Reverb. Cap it off. But yeah, the, uh, it sounded like you didn't quite believe in the product there on the billboard. Well, it's awkward because it says fresh ink from Hallmark, Hallmark fresh ink. Well, it is so, Hallmark. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you so got to kind of force a little bit of a pause in between those two, a couple beats just to make sure that you're dividing it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take the time Take the time to sort of pull it from behind your back, essentially. Like, you know, a uh, new line of greeting cards, fresh ink from Hallmark. You or know, like you actually one, pull one out and you're showing it to them. Or get one of one yeah. of those Hallmarks. It's fresh redundant. Ink. Just call it Fresh Ink from Hallmark Fresh Ink. <laughs> That's still awkward. <laughs> uh, that would be really awkward if it was Hallmark Fresh Incorporated. So it was Fresh Ink from Hallmark Fresh Ink. <laughs> fresh Ink from Hallmark Fresh Ink. They probably wouldn't write it this way if that were the case. That's very true. <laughs> but I thought when you when on the line, but it's that uncanny ability to grasp, blah, blah, blah. That just sound like you were reading it to me. To me, apparently other people didn't hear it, but it sounded just like you're reading that part. I, I agree actually on that one. And when you graph, grasp, grasp. <laughs> and that was overdoing it, of course, but. Uh, <laughs> and and, and, and color, color the uncanny ability somehow so it stands out. I think it should be proud to me. Something sarcastic. Okay. Right. Yeah, that may be the reason that it sounded a little flat is when you went, you got reedy, it went. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's a really good description. Went... <laughs> mm, you know, kind of like my heart deal is going to do someday. <laughs> it just went flat. <laughs> All right. So on to a more positive subject. Why don't you go ahead and give us another read, Devin? All right. <clears throat> You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercial starts, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. And that's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's the same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Fresh ink is Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. <clears throat> okay, what did everybody think? I'm going to get picky on the grasp reality line. 
um, and I don't want you to, I don't want it to come out unnatural, but for me, there's a natural pause after grasp reality before that. And it sounded like it was grasp reality that helped us. Yep. As opposed to that uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop the new line of, you kind of have that little up okay. and down in there that, that, that needs to be there to connect it. Okay. Me. There's just that much personality on that line. It's like everywhere else is, but that one line, it's like you're just reading it. Yeah, I know. It sounded a, a lot like the first read, too. I'd say we, on the next read, just start with the, but it's the same uncanny ability. Just ditch everything before that because you're good on everything before that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe right. hit same or something or uncanny. Do what? Yeah, I agree. Actually, you should probably yes. hit uncanny in that. It's that same uncanny ability. Okay. Okay. Go for it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few fresh... So pick up a few... Hallmark Fresh Ink Cards for Friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. Don't you usually move around when you're doing this? You yeah, don't... I'm not <laughs> moving as much. Yeah, you, you got know. your arms yeah, like yeah, yeah, move more? Kind of hands in pockets kind of thing there is, you know. Well, they're uh, moving down here. You want me to flail more? I can flail more. Yeah, yeah. Move, move around. Let me just do a big flailing take. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, the thing, it's the thing with doing something. You know, there's no energy behind it. It's it, it's 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 static, and you, you got to kind of pull some energy out. No, yeah, know. and you usually have lots of energy. I know. Yeah, it needs yeah, more great color in certain spots. Like, All right. like, make quirky sound quirky. And make real sound real. I don't have a lot today, but I'll I'll, yeah. <laughs> I'll knock it out. Just for the next oh, yeah. 30 seconds. Just, All just right. give it some oomph. You can do it. Yeah. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercial starts, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's the same. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is... If you haven't already changed the station. Definitely better. That yep, had much the energy. Better. That, that really did. It picked up the energy a lot. Okay. That you know. sounded more like Devin. Okay. There's, it, it, <laughs> Devin, you did it. You sounded like yourself. <laughs> this is always an achievement. <laughs> Take it from somebody who does energetic characters without even having a drop of coffee. <laughs> it does happen. Um, it's, there you it's, go. Nice job. When you add that motion, when you add that little bit of motion, it puts the energy behind it, even if you're not feeling it yourself. Yeah, the flailing helped. Yeah. Uh, fl flail more. Okay, I'll write that down. <laughs> Nathan, next. Well, that would be me, wouldn't it? That'd be that you. Would. Go that for it. Take my own advice. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards, Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. So the one thing that really stuck out to me was heck. Like you, you hit that and billboarded it 
a lot. I did, didn't I? And it didn't feel very authentic. Okay. Because that word is usually throwaway. You know, obviously it's a replacement word for something worse, right? <laughs> so, heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. Like, that's that's the admission of, like, you know, that, that's almost an aside to yourself. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. Um, gotcha. You know, you, you're trying to ground it in reality. So, heck, should be just real, real fast. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. Like the rest of it's where it's all where that's where the meat and potatoes are right there. Okay. Really need to stop saying that. I'm getting very hungry. Um, <laughs> what did everybody else think? Opening it up. Uh, I heard a pause between ability and two grasp, um, which seemed unnatural. And then at the end, you're still being a little sarcastic. But other than that, it's really good. I think it's suited for you. Yeah, I like I like the tone, okay. but uh, I think yeah, I caught the same thing Russ caught that unnatural pause i think just in general maybe smooth it out just a little bit because okay. there's some chunks in there that need to be pureed okay and i won't step all over heck <laughs> that sounded interesting anyway <clears throat> you probably don't want to hear this commercial heck we're not living in a fantasy land as soon as that music stops and the commercials start you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But, that, but it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards, Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right. I heard a pause after friends and at your nearest retailer. Yeah, there was a little bit of a break in between there. Yeah. And then your last line still sarcastic. You know, it's, it's supposed to be a shrug. I thought we kind of agreed on that. Okay. Other than that, it's good. I mean, you sound really good. This couple, these are nitpicky things. So maybe just take it from the so. Yeah. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. I think that was better. Groovy. We'll tie that one in. Everyone else is dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't really have anything. I think that yeah, splice it in, and we got a we got us a take, baby. <sighs> yeah, I think I managed to fit it in under thirty. <laughs> so it's Leonard. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards, Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right. What did everybody think? Good. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, I don't have a lot either. And I thought you did a good job of doing the shrug on the last line. So kudos. Yeah, it sounds like you yeah. picked up a lot of the uh, direction that we've been talking about. For yeah. The advantages of going ignoring. late. Yeah. Hey, hey, this, no. commercial, this commercial that, fits. That fits sounded terrible. That I, don't phone. take that wrong. You, you, did, you did good. Thank that you. That was a good take. John, you just taught us all what we needed to know. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that's why you beat me up the way you did. He took one, John took one uh, for the team. <laughs> it's just a pleasant beating, that's all. <laughs> Make me go first next time. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a while before I volunteer again. Michael's making a note of that for next week. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no, I got it. I got it down. I got it down. <laughs> All right. So who's up next? Joe. Leonard. No, Leonard just went. Oh, yeah. 
I'm up. It oh. is now Joe's okay. turn. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new lines of loon But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right. What did everybody think? Other than those strange words that I couldn't find in the script anywhere. I, it wasn't <laughs> I felt uh, like it, it was a little angry in the beginning. It was. I felt like assaulting the listener. I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen here. Well, hey, you, you, you verbally did. <laughs> well, well, my uh, big critique is your crackle is back. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, just a little fast in the beginning. I think that's what made it seem like you were going to assault us. You're going to. You're yeah. not gonna I, I, us, think, I you? think you definitely want to approach that opening line with more just acceptance rather than anything else. I, I, you probably I don't want to hear this commercial. I, I was going for that kind of angry take just because I wanted to grab their attention. Like they're reaching for the remote and I go, you probably don't want to hear this commercial. <laughs> it's like <laughs> well, maybe wait, I do. <laughs> okay. But when you got all but when you got all friendly, then it seemed fake because you were so mean before. Uh, uh, yeah, it was too much of a change. Okay. Okay. I keep picturing the classic cartoons with the radio starts talking to somebody and they take it way personally. You know? Okay. Stop. Put that down. <laughs> one, one more less aggressive pass. Yes, please. Go for hey, it. Hey, Joe, I fixed my crackle by using by not using the generic driver for my microphone. I don't know if you're doing that, but um, I mean, oh. for, for my um, whatever you call that thing, the system between your microphone that I can't think of right now. <laughs> yeah, the interface. Yeah, you mean the interface. interface? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting old. Is it but, gone now? I switched back and forth. You're good now. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. So let's try a less aggressive take. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stop and the commercial start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is if you haven't changed the station. He nailed it. Better? I thought it was good, but I thought it was just a little quick, but um, all the emphasis and the emphasis on the correct syllables yeah. were great. It just seemed just a tiny fast, but I don't know. Okay. If... Yeah, I think, I mean, you know, having to fit in under a certain amount of time, it would have worked, you know. Yeah. I heard Throw it down little, in post. I heard a little sing sogginess when you said, as uh, as soon as the music stops and the commercials start, um, I actually did it better than you did. <laughs> but <laughs> but there were, it was just like, you know, it was sing songy in there, I felt. Yeah. 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 I think, uh, yeah. Uh, it's probably the word music. <laughs> 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 he's, he's too much of a performer it's I'm, just I'm, one word sets you off that badly I'm, come on I'm, I'm free associating <laughs> i didn't know you're going for that that's pretty cool then <laughs> <laughs> okay next well, i would say I give it one more take and try to oh. try to remove the sing song and just go go to uh um and we know it so from the beginning to and we know it okay you probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. Yep. Yeah. Better. You did it. Yep. Cool. Splice, splice that in. Good to go. <laughs> Good we'll cut that in, fix it in post. All right. Moving all right along. Who's up next? Russ. Russ, go yeah. for it. 
You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob. You change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is a real... Hallmark Fresh Ink is real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right, opening it up. What did everybody think? I think the reason you were fumbling a little is you were going a little quick there, bud. Oh, okay. Yeah, just a shade, yeah. All right. Yeah, just slow it down a bit. Michael was laughing, though, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I just had a. No, no it, it didn't have anything to do with your performance. Unfortunately, no. I missed part of it because I accidentally ripped the cable out of my headphones. And then while taking them off, they flung my glasses off of my face. So. All right. He's never just, having technical issues of his own. Yeah, it's just, just, <laughs> just a few hardware issues. That's all. No worries. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm leaving it to everybody else right now. Everybody else. you, you with you yourself know. in the booth. <laughs> all right. Slow it down then. Sorry, Patrick. What was that? What would you say? Did, did we catch it on video at least? I hope oh, so. Yeah. Oh, we caught yeah. it on video. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're definitely not alone, Russ, in, mission, in missing Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real funny and quirky as life itself we we've had several is a reels but uh <laughs> uh yeah At least i couldn't say it any other way uh, no matter how many times i tried it <laughs> you also were not alone <laughs> um you were trying to build and then you ran out build uh change the channel faster than turning the bathroom now after your cups of coffee. You were, you were trying to build and then you ran out of the, you know, the cliff. Oh crap. There goes the cliff and you fell off it. Uh, so figure out how you want to uh, let that line go. And then um, <clears throat> it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality. You, there was a weird breakup in there. It was like, it's that same uncanny, uncanny yeah. ability to grasp reality. Yeah. I felt that. Yeah. Um, so that's all I got. That's good. Thanks. Sure. All right. Give us another read. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a, f so pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. All right, let's open it up. What did everybody think? On both of your reads, you kind of put almost a period after start. As soon as music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than blah, blah, blah. I don't think any sane person should be reading this. <laughs> is that well, why you're sanity not, is optional any around of us here. Sane, really? <laughs> Some of us do multiple... Per, uh, multiple uh, characters so we have multiple person how did you think constantly <laughs> um yeah I, I do agree that ending off on the down note after start mm -hmm. made it sound more like the end of the idea rather than just a continuation um there's that there's also and we know it came off a little bit a little bit more accepting than i don't know how do i put that mm -hmm. it, it it felt like um and the, the whole point of that is to sort of um, connect with the audience and saying, you know, and we know it, we know you don't do anything, but uh, the way that you, the way that it came off from you was more like, and we know it just sort of like, yep, you're not going to listen to me anyways. It was almost um, pessimistic in its uh, delivery. Okay. At least that's how it came off to me. I don't know if anybody else caught that. Probably just me being super picky. Not at all. 
Didn't strike me that way, no. Okay, well then, I guess it was just me. No, 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 no. I, I, I heard, I heard it too. We're not being picky. <laughs> okay. Well, at least, at least, at least one person agrees. Um, yeah, let me do that line and see if you feel the same. Okay. Which did do the first half. Okay. Up to when we know it. All right. Let me highlight that so I can get it right. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is, and we know it. See, you did it again. The transition between commercial start and you change is not, it, it's uncomfortable. There's something wrong with it. Well, it's because he ends off on a down note. He, so he, he didn't on that one. He didn't, well, he didn't do it as bad. As, well, that, that's because before he was putting in a little bit more of a gap. This time it, it, he took out the gap, but it still ended off on the down note. It, it's it's okay to up speak on that one a little bit. As soon as it stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning because because that indicates the the reason most of the time ending off on an up note doesn't work is because it sounds like you're going to continue the idea right over there. Do it up yeah. speak and start. That's a good and then, point. Um, and we know it again was was almost like. Yeah, I know. I felt uh, it. It's just a yeah. deflation. It's like, and we know it. Just shrug on it. And we know it, you know? Whatever. Yeah. You don't have to go up on the starch. Just don't go down. I think I'll have to go up to be able to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it an up speak then. Go ahead and take that same set up until we know it. Okay. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as the music stops and the commercial start, you change the channel faster than turning a bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. You went down on your up. <laughs> yeah. That, and the commercial that? start. What, what does that mean? So you went up, it? start, and then sort of you, you curved it downwards towards yeah. the end. And the commercial so start. And... Really? Okay. Yeah, it, it went up and then it crossed. Or it stopped Prop. abruptly or something. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, I'll just try that one right. line then. So go yeah. do this, Russ. Go from as soon to change the channel faster. Drop and the commercial start. So do as soon as that music stops, you change the channel faster. As soon as the music stops, you change the channel faster. As that music stops. Now now Give it a little, give it a little feeling. Once again, with feeling. <laughs> Skip the start part again. Yeah, just do that same thing you did a moment ago. As soon as that music stops, you change the channel faster. What the, the part that's missing is you're kind of stringing the person along to the next piece. As soon as that music stops, you change the channel. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster. I'm not giving you a line read. I'm saying you need this, this you want to leave them hanging for a, a half a second. You know, as soon as this happens, you do this. Hmm. Does it make sense? Yeah. And I'm just trying to, I'm trying to find a way to connect the, the line to you. Okay. Read again? Yeah, try the whole thing. Yeah. You mean the whole thing? No, thing? just the yeah, as soon as. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as soon as line. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster than turning a bath. No, why? You said, as soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the channel faster. You you want to leave them hanging as soon as that music stops and and now I'm I, you really don't want as to soon as that music stops the commercial start it's funny because when he when he first uh, told you to get rid of uh, commercial start or and the commercial start like you you had that string along point as soon as the music stops uh, you you did that and then um, it went down yeah and and now now you're you're ending all of these things off on a down note and it's not stringing along it feels like it feels like you have two poorly written sentences smashed together there. Um, so yeah, the, 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 it's the whole idea here is stringing along as soon as that music stops and the commercial start, uh, you end off on a mid note. 
start, like don't end off the idea. Uh, as soon as the music stops, the commercial start, you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. It's, it's that for whatever reason that, um, that, that seems to be tripping you up a little bit here. Um, because it, it feels like you're ending off the idea and we're, we're, hmm. as soon as I step into the shower, the phone rings. As soon as I step into the shower and soap up my hair, the phone rings. It's just a little bit of, and what's going to happen next? As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the fucking channel. Oops. Sorry, Facebook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> Facebook. Forgot it would be funny to you, Janet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I know. Wow. I, oh, that's all right. I someone know else. I'm, someone else did it. Yay! I know. I know. <laughs> well, I guess we got to have one in the group anyway. Um, so I let's. About it, Jenna, now it's a party. <laughs> yeah, now it's a party. Let, let um, me just try to get the first part, and then. And then yeah, just... yeah. Go for it. Go for it. As soon as that music stops and the commercial start. Yeah, there you go. You end off on the down yeah. note. As it. soon as the music stops, the commercials start because you're going to continue it. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start. There you go. Yes! That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> wow. OK. <laughs> yeah, so if you do that, then it sounds like the, the idea is a continuation and not two poorly written sentences smashed together in some weird. OK, I way. get it. Again, that's that's way too many of these scripts. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. oh, so many scripts. Anyway, um. Well, Let's go ahead. That we can splice it in next. Yes. Next. Moving right along. Up next is Rob. Okay. Rob, <clears throat> my volume's loud. Your volume's good. It's better yeah. than it's been in a long time. Yeah. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start. You change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh Ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is... If you haven't already changed the station. All right. Opening it up. What did everybody think? I'm thinking it's like Joe's. Uh, it was just too sarcastic and too. too, too open much, it too sounded much. like you were addressing an audience of morons. <laughs> <laughs> In that sense, I did well. Andrew <laughs> Dice Clay doing a... Uh, Hallmark but, commercial. And while if the entire audience was, was, was made up of me, I would totally understand that delivery. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and change that up a little bit. Uh, I, I think, you know, that, that opening bit really does need to be like slightly slower, but more of a direct statement of fact. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Like, I get it. You know, I'm with you on that. I don't want to hear commercials either. So I think, I think just tweaking that. The rest of the delivery was pretty good. I don't really have a whole lot to nitpick on it. I, I think like I've mentioned before, you do have a really good natural read to your, uh, uh, to your performances. So like it, your, your pacing was pretty good and everything else and your, your tone and everything else was, was, was pretty solid. It's just, I, I think that that intro does need to be changed up a little bit. Maybe it's then, like cause then you approach, cause then uh, the person approaches this commercial being demeaned. Were you trying to do a character voice, Rob? Um, I was trying to, uh, like a, a sarcastic drill sergeant. So, you know, I, I, like Mike said, I heard it at the beginning and then it, it revisited at the end. Um, but if you're, you know, if you're going to do a character, you gotta, you, you gotta keep the character throughout the whole thing. But if it wasn't that, then it's just a matter of, you know, change the, change the style at the front and back there. Yeah, it, it didn't work that well with it it was like it was like you're saying it was there it was inconsistent then it showed back up again and it's like who's telling us the story somebody with the id 
<laughs> well, just go ahead and uh, uh, let, let's let's go ahead and get a second take here, uh, and and just scrub that character out. Give it a give it a nice like, you know, I get it. Give it a more relatable feel to it. Let's try that. Okay. You probably don't want to hear this commercial. Heck, we're not living in a fantasy land. As soon as that music stops and the commercials start, you change the you change the channel faster than turning the bathroom doorknob after three cups of coffee. That's just the way it is. And we know it. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality that helped us develop our new line of greeting cards. Fresh ink from Hallmark. Hallmark Fresh Ink is as real, funny, and quirky as life itself. So pick up a few Hallmark Fresh Ink cards for friends at your nearest retailer and say something real. That is, if you haven't already changed the station. I loved it. Yep. Yeah. So much, so I loved it. Better. Nailed it. That yeah. was absolutely fantastic. That was super consistent. The read was really, really nice. That was a really good flow to it. It all made like you, you, you carried your message from beginning to end. That was buenísimo. Bravísimo. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Excellent. It was very consistent. It was the same guy telling us about. Mm -hmm. I thought it, I thought you did a great job on it. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, that first sarcastic character. I don't want to buy any greeting cards from that guy. <laughs> <laughs> be a Look, I'm not buying buying uh, Hallmark cards from Andrew Dice Clay. No, no, no. <laughs> Smack <laughs> him in the mouth, maybe, but not buy any greeting cards from <laughs> Go ahead. Buy some greeting cards, I do. <laughs> Rob was the first one I noticed who kind of drew out the word same. But it's that same uncanny ability to grasp reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And think, then I started thinking, huh, did the rest of us get that wrong? Because that kind of <laughs> probably the previous. Probably so. <laughs> yeah, in yeah. 40 minutes of talking about it, we missed that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I mentioned it at one point and Mike said the word was uncanny and not same. Yeah, I think it's uncanny and quirky, but I'm able to be convinced otherwise. Yeah, it's just a choice, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I fully agree that it's just a choice. Yeah. Um, because hey, I'm just as likely to be wrong as anybody else here, so my word isn't final. Um, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, no, that was absolutely fantastic, really solid all the way through. So, yeah, I think that's everybody because I, yes. I don't think Janet that Janet's going to be reading for us today. No. Nope. So just um, one one time, Janet. She's no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, an -bomb. She, she hasn't complimented the script a lot. Let's just say that. <laughs> All righty, then. Well, we'll go ahead and hand it off to Nathan to end us off. Okay. Hey, we have come to the end of yet another one, but we will be back next week. Michael has something for us, I'm sure. And it's going to be fantastic. And guys, okay, look, we've got a Patreon put the link down there you can see it um we've got youtube facebook twitter we are out here and you know what we're live every week so come on and join us get on here with loads of fun all the time loads of fun so don't miss next week and we will see you then bye Join us every Monday for free script practice. You can also find the mic check on Facebook and Twitter. If you liked what you saw, then subscribe for more.